Good morning, Dak. How you doing, buddy? Eat your food. Hello, Dak. How you doing, buddy? Let me get your little pet here. Oh, move the camera around. Yeah. Anyway, this is going to be my first video, the Davis Farm and Orchard. So I'm just going to, first video, just kind of show you around a little bit. Then I'll do some others and might do some little projects and stuff. And, I don't know, it's just for fun, so. Here's one of the smaller trees, apple trees. It looks like it's got some little bitty apples on there. I don't think they're gonna mount much because this tree's kind of small. Now the bigger ones, we're getting quite a bit of apples. I don't spray any of these trees. Just let them go. Anybody want any apples, they can have them for free. This tree over here, there's actually four of these large apple trees and a bunch of small ones. And this tree here fell over during the storm, but it's still got apples. It's still half alive. Large pear trees. Right on the end of the property here. Check them out. They, they get really big. There's the other one. Lots of these mulberry trees on the property. I don't particularly care for them. But I guess the birds like to eat them. And we got lots and lots of these blackberry bushes. They're black raspberry bushes there all through this area here a lot, of, a lot of them are in the weeds but and i don't ever pick them but i usually let anybody who wants to pick them to go ahead and come out and get them one of those blackberry bushes they're not quite ready yet there's more out that way that's my thumb getting in the way these two bushes here look real good Lots of blackberries. I don't do much with these. I just let them grow. Probably need to prune, prune them. And anyway, I believe they're Concord grapes for like jelly. Branches, so I mow back here. And it sounds like the birds are getting anxious because I'm walking back here. They probably got a nest around here somewhere ones are climbed up on this wire like I said I don't do anything with these and they just grow they were here when I bought the place they're all over down here I probably need to work on them a little bit but I'm not too much into grapes and there's more over that way there on that row it's like somebody's been laying back here there's, there's been quite a few of them I'm thinking deer Hanging out back here. There's more of those mulberry trees. Like I said, they're they're all over the place here. Here's the edge of the property. This is the south end, and this is the irrigation lane. I keep this area mowed because I like to keep it clean. Where the apple trees are, and the pear trees are back that way. Go back around this way. Here's our Davis Farm and Orchard. Uh, wiener Rose Pit. This is where we have our little Wiener Rose parties. There's our wood pile over there. It's getting kind of low. But anyway, let me do a view of the place here. There's the old farmhouse. It's getting siding this year. Come around here and this old machine shed back here. It's a wick wick building now it's used to have chickens in it before i had the place but that's what it was and it's just for storage yeah, isn't me he likes to follow me around dax an old stray cat feral cat he just showed up and he lives outside in the barn and he doesn't want to come inside huh Tried to get him inside in the winter time, but he just won't come in. He likes to stay out there in the barn or the machine shed. What do you say, Dak? 
Christmas trees or some type of a fir. I bought them through uh, Mason County Soil Conservation. They were selling them for like two bucks each. A little Charlie Brown little Christmas tree looking things. My plan was to grow them up until they got, I don't know, about this big or so. And just give them away for somebody could have a Christmas, a real Christmas tree. So, but only four of them have lived. But they're kind of big to be somebody's Christmas tree. And they really haven't filled out that much. There's old Dak again. Dak is his name. He got his name because his real name is Dumbass Cat. <laughs> but he's a good guy. He's always getting under your feet because he's always wanting to be somewhere. Tiger lilies. Some type of, we always call them flags. But something looks like something's been laying back in here. I didn't know they, if it is deer, I didn't know they get up this close. But, and I got a lot of these black walnut trees. If you see that one there, they pop up everywhere. They're, they're terrible in the fall. Here we go, I'm trying to burn off, get this burned off, maybe remove that section of fence. Dig up those uh, roots and stuff. That way I can just mow straight through here. Well, hello, Dak. How you doing there? Huh? Well, we like to move around there. Always underfoot. Way here on the east side of the property, I got a lot of scrap metal through here, up along the fence row. If there's any scrap pickers in the Mason County area that want this, and go. Oh. Get, my, get them get a hold of me because off they can have it for free for this year i didn't plant much but anyway i also planted over here some of that indian corn ornamental corn but next year i plan on planting about a, maybe a half acre a quarter acre of sweet corn and maybe it's just since this is just as a hobby just give it away for free if anybody wants it but that that'll be next year and we got the irrigation. <laughs> it puts out a lot of water though. Uh, yesterday it rained, so I don't need to run it. Chicken that. house here. Anyway, I ended up uh, tearing all the plywood off of it. And I ended up sheet metal. Some old sheet metal that came off the roof of the corn crib, but it's just used for storage. This area over here, this is on the north side. Planning on next year, this is where I plant my sweet corn. I'm gonna remove them trees. A lot of maple trees out here. And a little cottonwood tree off there in the distance, way right there. I think about keeping it out there just because it's the only cottonwood tree on the property. As you see, there's a lot of maple trees. I like to just get rid of all those and whatever that bush is. I've been mowing out here, keeping it mowed down so all these little trees, maple trees, don't pop up. You can see this land over here that's not mowed. That's not mine. But that is like set aside property or some type of a program or something. With a lot, a lot of pheasants out there. It looks like there's a lot of wildflowers. Looks like prairie grass and stuff. So, and then one that's all over the place. I got one, two. There's three right there. There's another one up in the front yard, but they make a mess in the in the fall when those all those walnuts start falling. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, there's one right there. Here is one of my favorite buildings on the property. It was it was falling down when I first got the place. We got a new roof on it and fixed the sides and resheet metaled it. It's an old corn crib slash machine shed. Let's see. Go in here. Kind of dark and light. Yeah, I just use this kind of like for storage. This is a little project I'm working on. Uh, some scrap metal or scrap wood. This, these shelves here were made out of mostly scrap wood and some plywood. That was new but everything else is all used lumber uh, kind of like uh, about out of used lumber matter of fact after this project here i'll be out of lumber crib machine shed building 
use this to keep the 755 in and there I'm working on that same project and a lot of the other stuff I have junk but it's a good little old building and what I got here is one of them old solar powered clothes dryers here I gave another coat of paint on it but it works I use it sometimes it's good for drying old rags and stuff but anyway me an RC cola. Well, that's the end of the video. This is my first video I've ever done. I don't really know what I'm doing, but anyway, if you like liked it, subscribe, like the push the like button. Uh, I'm gonna do more of these. You know, it's just something for fun, something to do around here at the farm. You know, so, well, with that, keep it rural.